Hey, this is Ryan from webeminence.com and in this video I'm going to talk about maintaining a WordPress site. So there are millions of you who have WordPress websites, whether someone else built it or you built it yourself, but you probably want to know what needs to be done to maintain a WordPress site. So I've been building websites on WordPress for over 10 years and I currently host and maintain over 300 WordPress websites. So in this video, I'm gonna cover the critical tasks, in my opinion, to maintaining a WordPress site. I'm also gonna show you some examples of companies that can maintain the website for you and show you what they charge and what they include. I actually host and maintain WordPress sites myself, so I'll also give you some information about my service at the end of the video, so make sure to stay tuned to the end. So one of the most common parts of WordPress website maintenance is updating the theme, the WordPress software itself, and the plugins. So updating your WordPress theme is gonna depend on what theme you're using. Every theme developer has a little bit different process for updating uh, your theme, but many of them allow for quick automatic updates. Again, you're gonna want to make sure your site is backed up because theme update can be a big deal and could potentially break some things on your site. So within WordPress, you could go to dashboard and then updates to see all the updates that are available, including themes. So in my case, I'm using the Divi theme. I can simply click, check it right here and click update themes. And I'm confident that it's gonna not break the website because I've updated Divi hundreds of times and I do have a backup in place. You can also go to appearance and themes to check your themes and to update them if an update is available. In order to update paid themes, you're probably gonna to have to have some kind of authorization with the uh, theme developer. This might be an API key, or it might be some kind of username, password, login, in order to authorize your license and update the theme automatically. So as we talk through each of these different uh, areas of WordPress website maintenance, I do wanna show you these examples of companies that I found that will maintain your websites for you. So now that we've talked about um, updating the software. Let's just look at a couple of these. I have two pulled up that I just found after a quick search. They both range from $78 a month to a couple hundred dollars a month to uh, maintain a WordPress website. And they do include WordPress updates. And it says just we're updating the WordPress core and your plugins. This site does not mention the theme updates. This one says manage WordPress updates as well, and then plug and theme updates. I think they mean plug in. So again, we're starting at $78 to $97 per month for this type of maintenance. So the next part of WordPress website maintenance I wanna mention is just content updates. Uh, so you might be able to do these updates yourself, and by content updates, I just mean updating any content on the website, whether it's text, uh, images, adding new pages, maybe changing the design a little bit. Maybe this is something you wanna do on your own and you're confident in doing, or maybe you need to pay someone to do these types of updates. So in the case of these two companies I'm showing you as an example, this site does not mention any type of development or hours per month until you get to the 289 level, which says you get two hours per month. And then they say dedicated developer hours. That just means they're gonna have the same person working with you on a regular basis. This company says unlimited tasks at on all these levels. So I assume that means they'll do any updates for you and the content of your website. So in my WordPress maintenance and hosting package, I do include up to two hours of uh, content updates per month. And that's usually fine for most of my clients. So the next thing I wanna mention in WordPress website maintenance is uptime monitoring. And this is just making sure your website is online. So it can go offline for a lot of reasons. A lot of my clients have sites go down because they don't renew their domain. Um, so I don't monitor this for people, but um, they should be getting emails from their domain registrar. And I usually recommend putting a domain on auto renew if it's an active website so that your site does not go down because of not renewing a domain name. Um, sites can also go down for maybe going over a bandwidth limit or maybe a storage limit. So those are the main uh, reasons that a website goes down. So I would automatically monitor uh, your storage. If you get near quotas, I would take care of that. So let's see what these other companies offer. 
So this one has uptime monitoring at the $290 level. So they say this is an automated system. So that's a lot to pay, obviously to 290. You can also use plugins to monitor uptime on your website or your host would have some type of uh, uptime monitoring. So the next thing I wanna talk about is backups. I mentioned that earlier. Backups of your website are obviously very important just so that you don't lose your website. And as you're doing these different updates and maintenance tasks, if anything breaks, you wanna make sure you have a backup in place. So I actually did a whole video on backing up WordPress website. I talk about plugins and maybe backup options with your hosting company. Um, so you could check out that video, I'll link to it here. So these two example companies I'm showing you, this one has daily offsite backups on all of their plans, it looks like. They don't mention it on these, oh, includes everything. Yeah, so it's in all their plans. And this one says site backup. So it doesn't say offsite. Offsite would mean that it's a backup on a different server so that if something happens to that one server and the backup is also on that server, uh, you might lose the backup at the same time. So there's definitely a value in backups, but you can get this with your host. So it's not a huge value in these maintenance packages that these companies are offering. If I was to go to HostGator, for example, you could get WordPress hosting with backups included for as little as $6 per month. So the value of a backup service, if someone's offering you that with WordPress maintenance, is probably worth a few dollars per month. And there's different quality of backups as well. On my server, I actually have uh, a few levels of backups. I have an on-server backup. I have an off-site backup that is actually done continuously or like on the hour. And I have a third level backup, which is also off-site to Amazon uh, web servers. So the next part of maintenance I wanna mention is security monitoring. A lot of people are worried about their site getting hacked or something happening on their site. I have been hosting WordPress sites for years and have found that the main way that sites get hacked is if you just have a really weak password. So a lot of um, server environments or hosting environments don't even allow weak passwords and WordPress has ways of enforcing uh, password requirements to make sure all passwords are strong. But there, even if you have a strong password, things can happen. So you do wanna make sure that you have security monitoring. My server has high level of security at the server level. So not even within WordPress, but at the, at the server level to uh, kind of manage different exploits that are common and shut those down. So if we look at these two example companies, they say they have 27, 24 seven security monitoring. And this company says, they don't really mention security monitoring that I can see. So there are some plugins you can use for WordPress security. There's one called WordFence that is free and also has a paid version. I often use that on sites that I host when they're having kind of a higher level of attacks. One common type of attack is called a brute force login attempt where um, a hacker might be trying to log into your website, just testing thousands of passwords and common username password combinations. And that could cause a spike in your, your bandwidth, which could shut down your website potentially. So that has to be monitored and you have to block those attempts to keep your website functioning and online. Another thing that a lot of uh, WordPress website owners need is just technical support. So out of the 300 or so websites that I host, clients contact me often because they're making changes themselves on their website, but they just need kind of a higher level of technical support. They just have a question that they can't answer. So it's good to have someone you can contact to get a higher level of personal service than you would get from just a hosting company. Because if you were on like a $5 a month hosting plan with like HostGator or GoDaddy, you can contact them for some technical support, but it's gonna be limited. They're not gonna do specific things on your website, but they will do some types of technical support. So if we look at these two example websites, in terms of technical support, they say, this company says they have a support portal access. Um, and then friendly professional support. And it's by WordPress experts, so you're probably gonna get a higher level of support with a maintenance plan for WordPress compared to um, just a typical hosting package with a hosting company. This one says it has US-based support, chat and email support, and then phone support at these higher levels. 
So with all my clients, I do offer phone and email support, and most tasks get done same day or within 24 to 48 hours at the most. So another thing that's important with website maintenance is just reporting, maybe audits, or maybe search engine optimization. First of all, with SEO or search engine optimization, I mean, you could pay thousands for that. So I wouldn't expect to get too much for, you know, WordPress maintenance plans that are under $100 per month. For reporting, I would usually recommend just setting up Google Analytics on your site. So whoever creates your website could probably do this for you. I would do this for my clients for like a one hour fee. And this would allow you to kind of check your own analytics and data on your website. So I've done a couple of videos on Google Analytics. I'll also link to a post where I have a few of those videos. And let's see what these other companies mention in terms of reporting. On this low level plan, there's no reporting. This company has a monthly health report on their $289 plan. And this company mentions task reporting and then a quarterly site health report. And they do mention Google Analytics on these higher plans as well. So Google Analytics is just a one-time fee. So when these companies list that and then charge you monthly for it, it should just be a one-time setup fee. So when you're looking for these WordPress maintenance plans, keep in mind some of them include hosting, some of them do not. On my WordPress maintenance plan, I do include hosting, and it's a high-level professional hosting because I'm on a dedicated server with only my clients. Um, other companies might offer different types of hosting, so not all hosting is created equal, so make sure you know what you're getting with your hosting. If we look at these two example websites, this one does not mention hosting anywhere, so I don't think they include it or offer it. And then this one mentions premium hosting on Amazon servers as being optional. So that should give you an idea of everything that should be done with WordPress maintenance and also just kind of showing you a few examples of companies that offer it. So it's usually from $50 to $100 at the lowest level. Um, so that should allow you to kind of understand the value of these different things, what you might be able to do on your own, and if it's worth paying people. I do want to link to my hosting and maintenance plan, so you can actually find that link in the description. And I'm not going to list my price on the video because that could change in the future, but I will say that it's probably going to be half or close to half of the two that I showed you in this video and probably offers more value. Um, so you gotta watch out, make sure to do some price shopping and make sure to check out my option as well. If you are gonna manage your WordPress site on your own, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I do a lot of WordPress videos. I'll link to my WordPress playlist here and you can go check out the next video. We'll see you there.